Yeah, hello there. It's uh, oh, Friday afternoon. Time to start putting together another video here for all you Volkswagen van fans and or just fans. Right? So, it was a, a week of stuff that I didn't expect, but I did it anyhow. So, I'll show you what I, I'll show you what I sort of did. Now, if you remember last week, and the, I know you can't forget these things, right? Last week I did the, uh, finished up the floor here on the passenger side. Then I think I left you hanging here. So I finished up this. And then as I was going through, I found out that, oh, indeed, there was more, more rust to be found. So this is where the emergency brake the e-brake sort of fits on there and the cable comes through right here so I had to fabricate that kind of a thing then as I worked further back this hole here showed up but this hole here showed up then this stuff here showed up with holes in it <coughs> and down here which I knew about already so I got that fixed up that one there I put some rust <coughs> excuse me I put some rust converter in there. I think I'll hit it with another dose. And I finally got around to doing those plug welds over here. Then, got bored with all that, which, you know, had enough of welding for a while. So I decided I'd start taking out the windshield. Oh, windshield's gone. Put it in the other shop. And started getting the dashboard off of it. So that's... Next week we'll get the dashboard off. And... Uh, work forward from there fixing up the holes in the windshield which is much fewer than I thought I'll show you now I had to have the book out figure out how to get the dashboard apart right but the only hole in the windshield is right here which is that's good news and hey I didn't even break the windshield taking it out of there so things are pretty good and that's about where I got to, and uh, if you stick around, you'll see everything that's happened. And I hope you enjoy it. See you soon. Yeah, yeah, here we are. New week starting. So what's going on this week? Now, last week, let me see. Press this button. Here we go. Last week we were on the floors, right? All down here, which is done. And I'll uh, put some light on there. So now I'm, I've got to fix that right there. So this week it's got to fix that. I'm I put that rust converter on there. It seems to have done whatever it does. And then I'll fix a couple of those little holes that are in it. Then put a new cover over it. And down here, I think I'm well enough to do the calisthenics required to fill that. Can you see that hole down there? Wait, I get... Yeah, there, you can see that hole down there. Um, see where my hand's coming through down there? Oh, yeah, right down there. So that hole there has to be fixed, that hole there. And then that would finish up the back of the car, I think, yeah. So I'll do that floor up there this here I'll save the floor inside for a little while I paid I sprayed that rust converter on here seems to I think I'll give it another coat of that rust converter just to see what it does and uh, then I'll go after the front window I'll pull the front window out and then see if I can take the dash out and and fix up anything around the front windows there and I'm gonna save up the, the bottom of the doors for last ish and there's a couple of spots right here where this is the front bumper of the car right here and there's a couple of spots in here so I have to take the bumper off Can you see that yeah take the bumper off and see what I can do about fixing that up Otherwise, it's looking looking okay. 
Anyway, there we go. I'll get started on it and see what this is mission for today is fixing that up. Oh, here I am getting a bit ahead of you. So I'm at the uh, middle of the van. There's the gear shift lever there. And this piece here was rusty. So I cleaned up underneath it and I put in this new piece. A couple of spot welds there. Missed the spot, but I'll fix them right away. And then just welding around and around and around until it gets done. Okay, I'll carry on. Yeah, yeah, so there, that's all I've got done for the day. Busy day today with all sorts of other stuff going on. So I'll get back at it again tomorrow, I hope, and see if I can make more progress or make some progress. Can't, can't really say more progress. I'll get that grinded down and uh, cleaned up a bit after a while. Okay, see you tomorrow. Yeah, there we go. This is in now. And I spot welded it in three spots there in the middle. It was spot welded there before. So, got that done. Now, I'll do a little bit of grinding along here while I'm in a good position here for grinding that. Then there's this bad spot right here. Don't know if you can see that or not. Yeah, perhaps. And I'll see what I can do about that. Yeah, there's always surprises lurking around. Now I have to get this um, oh, that, that's an emergency brake handle off. A little bit of fire help. That one right there is stuck right in there. Wouldn't move with the impact, but then uh, a little bit of heat on it. So there's another one right here, I'll put a bit of heat on it. Yeah, a little bit of heat worked for that. Now I have to get this off of here, and I'll just leave that setting in there until I get it fixed together. See what happens. Okay, this is just a, a clippy thing holds that on there, whatever you call those things. So I'll get that off and let that be free. Yeah, yeah, so there it is. The uh, I can't. Let me see if I can put this light somewhere. Oh, you can't really see. Tell. Anyhow, the captive bolt or nut goes down in here and over there, and those are on the frame bit, so that won't move. This stuff here, I'll just cut it away and put a new piece in there, somehow or other. And there's another, this part here is framework there. So, that should all work out alright. I don't know what that is underneath there. That's that's something that's burnable, I bet, whatever it is. Likely uh, one of the fuel breather lines. Hmm. Maybe I should dig underneath there and see if I can get that out of there or something. Don't know what to do with sure there. See what happens. A little bit of cutting on it and then see what comes up. But anyway, we'll cut it up and see what happens. Yeah, so in there now. I gotta cut my finger too. So this thing here now, I've cleaned that all out. I found out that line there, and this line here is interconnectedness of everything. Can you see that line? Right down in there, there's a line. Now, those are lines that go for from the gas tank to all those uh, evaporation tanks, you know what I mean? And it looks to me like if I want to do this properly, I want to. I should pull the gas tank out of there next because there's all those lines on the top are rotten and so I should put new lines on it and uh, get it get it right and then I don't have to worry about lighting the whole thing on a fire by dropping some uh, hot coals in there right so that'll be that's cut out. This little bit over here is cut out. And most mostly it's all right there now. And if I'm underneath it, I can get, if I get the gas tank out, I can get better access to clean up underneath there anyhow. So, oh, the things you try to avoid, but they eventually come back to bite you anyhow. So, gas tank's coming out tomorrow, I think. Oh, dear oh me. I think that's it for today anyhow. I've had enough. I didn't get very much done today, but I didn't get a very early start on it. The uh, 
uh, I did, however, put up the Christmas lights out front. Maybe I'll show you here one of these evenings what they look like. They're, they might be kind of pretty. Because it's 4.45 and uh, that's enough for today. Anyhow, just about dark out. So I'll... Let's see. Yeah, here I am. That's me. Yeah, so at 4.45 I'll just uh, give up for the day and we'll uh, get at it again tomorrow on the Volkswagen van. See you then. Yeah, yeah, so here you go. Christmas lights are up. Can you see them? Very pretty. Hey. Yeah, here you go. Nothing like starting the day with a head wound, hey? I don't know what I did, but I... Well, I bashed my head inside there somewhere. Can you see it? Anyhow, bleeding. Anyway, I'll carry on another another day with the Volkswagen. I guess maybe I'll go clean this up. Should I? Will it stop bleeding ever? Who knows? Anyway, here we go. I was up just closing the roof so I could raise the van a little bit more. And when I was closing the roof inside there, I don't know, can you see that thing? Where is it? Right there. That that thing right there bashed me in the head when I was pulling on it. Now that's a bad spot for that thing. So it'll get moved eventually because it's not, I don't need more head wounds. Anyway, oh, what a way to start a day. So here we go. Going to lift it up and see if I can get the uh, gas tank out of it. First thing with that is draining the gas tank. Now, I guess the, uh, uh, here's the gas tank, right? So the first step here is to get the gas out of the gas tank. So I've got that, a tank down here to receive it. And I'm going to unhook it over right there. Can you see that? Oh, who knows? Anyhow, right here. Well, lights in your eyes. Right, right there. Going to unhook that. I've cut that bracket off there. Unhook it, see if I can get the hose down to the bottom there then I've got electricity this thing here here's there's no electricity in the van of course but I've got this uh, where am I 12 volt regulated power supply there so that I'll just turn that on in a couple of minutes and see if it'll run the tank run the fuel pump anyhow I'll we'll check it out yeah there now the apparatus is all set up see what happens when I hit the switch here if anything it's running. Oh. Well, that gas squirted from. It's sending gas. Well, we'll see what happens. I think there's. Oh! I, hit, I keep on hitting my head on everything. Everything I get near, I hit my head. No wonder I've got skull injuries. Now, do I have a fire extinguisher somewhere handy? Huh. Should be one somewhere. Well, oh, better go and get one. Yeah, there you go. This is usually a cell on the wall here. Oh, there's another one up there. I've got two fire extinguishers in here, so this one here, down and ready, in case there's a problem. I don't think there'll be a problem, but you never know. This thing here seems to be leaking a bit of fuel. Don't know why. I've got it going through the filter. That's an old filter. And it seems to be leaking a bit of fuel too. Oh, it's just coming down the hose here. Don't know why. But could be that this pump here is past its, past its best before date. Thought I had got a new pump, but I don't remember. Anyway. Be a little while watching this thing. It's like watching the uh, grass grow. So I'll come back when it's done. There, it seems to be running dry now. No more fuel coming. Yep, so I'll shut off the electricity and then see what we do next. That seemed to work pretty good. 
Now, there's only about, uh, well, not that much gas. A couple of gallons. What's this, a five, 20 liter jug, right? And it, oh, it feels like it's about halfway done. Oops, oh, banging my head on more stuff. Feels like it's about halfway full. So, that's empty-ish. And this should be fairly clean fuel because it was, I put new fuel into it along well a while ago when I started working on it so and then I ran it through that filter so should be okay anyhow yeah yeah next so here's uh, where the fuel whatever you call that the spout goes right so right up here there's I don't know can you see this there's the overflow valve there that has to sort of come off of there and it looks like uh, not really sure how that comes together, but there's these three screws here. I'm pretty sure you just pull them off and then you can sort of wrangle that thing out of there. We'll give it a try. First, I'll get these three screws out and see what happens. Up here, yeah. This stuff here gets all loose, but it doesn't want to come out. Now, I looked online and the guy looked like he just wrangled it out of there, but that's a metal tube. So, I think I have to drop the gas tank and then it must fit in as you're putting the gas tank in and out. We'll just check it out. I'll drop the gas tank a bit and see. I know that there's still these hoses here that are all likely just wore out. But I can like, well, there's one cut. Yeah, there's two of them cut on that side. And I know there's only one left on the other side. These are the vent hoses. That go up into these plastic containers here. Yeah, so here's the other one. Oh, there's one. It's gone there. And then, I don't know for sure what that hose does. It uh, goes somewhere. And I think it goes right into the tank there. I think I've. So, I will unhook them underneath here. There's two bolts. Can you see that? There's one bolt right here, another bolt like it on the other side. And then that tank might fall out of there. There's still, hmm, on this end here, return line goes in here somewhere. Where is it? Oh, he's got lights in my eyes. There's a return line here. So I'll just unhook this. And that'll do everything free, I hope. Can you see that? Likely that light's in your eyes there. There's a return line right here. So I'll get that unhooked. It needs a new hose here anyhow, so I think I'll just cut that right off okay yeah there now like that it's starting to come out there now <laughs> see if I can get it the rest of the way out it like I just pulled it I got the uh, two brackets off now they were held in these two nuts here were well they're rusted in there pretty good so maybe I'll clean up get some hmm I'll get some new nuts new bolts for it before I put the put it back together and clean up inside the like run a run a ream through the or whatever you call that run a tap through it so now it still hasn't come apart here that seems to be holding it tight now now what hmm? now what i'll see see if i can get it to come apart yeah so it's not exactly as what they explain on YouTube, hmm, but there it is on the ground. It fell out. I wiggled it a bench and it fell off this part here, which still I haven't got out of there. Guess I'll figure that out soon. But I'll take the tank outside and clean it off and see if there's any, uh, see if I need a new one. Hard to say. Yeah, there's the tank. Some of this stuff's fairly pitted up here. And fairly pitted there. That's about the worst of it. Backside looks okay. So I'll just uh, check out what a new one costs and see what happens. Yeah, so it says uh, here's that eventually came apart up here. 
right? That's just take a bunch of. There's this metal bit here that goes in, holds the two pieces pieces together. Heavy duty metal. Then there's uh, hmm, where is it? This bit here, but slides up in there, and it has this hose clamp here holding that rubber bit on here. And it just took a little bit of wrangling on it to get that thing to come clean, come clear. But, you know, where am I? Got a point here. So the this part here needs replacing, which I imagine I'll be able to get somewhere. And then one of those screws, I need to get that out somehow or other without wrecking it too badly, I hope. We'll see what I can do now. Yeah, so here's uh, hmm. this part here is kind of the donut that goes in the gas tank, but half the donut's missing. So now I've got it sort of figured out how it all goes together. So, oh well, this part, these parts here need new hoses, right? Up in here, same on the other side. This hose here, I don't know where the hell it goes to. I might have to get that tank off of there and see where it goes to. And there's another hose that goes across, connects the two sides of the tank. It's a uh, vent hose across both sides of the tank. And that needs new ends on it and rubbers and all that. So I guess I was, I'll find out how much it is for a new tank and everything. Because I think the old one is, well, we'll wait and see. Because sometimes the t cost of tanks for these cold cars surprises you. But now, I'm ready to go back, uh, well, I'll clean up all the mess that's down here. Then I'm ready to go back on uh, fixing, fixing body work. Yeah, it seems to never end, right? Hmm. This stuff here ought to come apart here somewhere too. Hmm, soon I'll take all this stuff apart. But not too soon. Yeah, what about those plastic cans that you say? Now up here there's a, I don't know if you can see that, it's kind of dark in there, but there's a one bolt and then it sort of pressure fits into the wall right there. And then there's this, uh, this thing here is a one way, so if the car gets tipped upside down, this is supposed to close. Doesn't seem to do that, so it's uh I guess got to find replacements for them. I'll see what I can do. Try the other side, see if it works. Yeah, it sort of works. Whoops, wasn't pointing the right way. Well, not really. So, I guess uh, maybe I got to clean them up or something. I'll see about that. Now, next is uh, back to welding, I guess. And see, I got a. I wanted to take that out of there because I didn't want to melt it or burn through it or cut through it. Those are the three choices because I have to fix that hole there and fix the hole in there that I was fixing on last night before I decided I better take the tank out. Now I wonder what that does. Well, more. More, more, more. Oh yeah, that's just this. This goes into the top of the tank, that bit there. So I'll just let that be, and then that one does too, but I need to get new seals for it in the tank. Anyway, oh dear, dear, dear. We'll figure out that out. Yeah, so there now. Yeah, cut a little bit and then get it cut a lot. So. That's all cut out of there now, and I ran the vacuum and cleaned up a lot of the dust. So, now tomorrow, that's enough for today. Tomorrow I'll uh, get at it again with a, and do some welding in there, I think. But we'll see how it goes for today. Now, let's see. Is that the right button? No, wrong button. Try that button. Yeah, there you go. That's the right button. So, today... I got, uh, besides having a head wound, I wonder how it's doing. Oh, I feel a 
scab up there. Old guys with bald heads always have scabs in their heads. How come? That's the way it is, I guess. Anyhow, so I'll get back at the uh, Volkswagen again tomorrow and uh, see where it goes from there. Yeah, yeah, here I am back for another day of it at the, uh, where am I at? I'm at the uh, Volkswagen again. Be at it for a little while yet. Now today I'm on to fixing the holes in the back wall. Hang on, I'll see if I can turn this around. Wrong button. There we go, right button. Hey, so in here, those holes that's underneath the uh, driver's seat, those holes there. Then there's a little one underneath the passenger seat over there. Passenger seat here is okay. Now, as I you know, you always think you're close to done welding, but I haven't. I've got to do the plug welds over there yet that I hadn't done before, a long time ago. Same with behind all that stuff. There's a couple of holes in the floor underneath that stuff. I also have to do the one piece at the back there that requires a little bit of calisthenics, which I'm well enough to do now. And I have to tackle this here along, along the base of the of the uh, sliding door it's not too bad it's not like the other side where it was all rusted to hell and gone but but it's rusted sort of from here where am i pointing can you see that yeah from about here to about there rusted pretty badly and then there's some spotty rust at the back here so i'll get after that i did order a new fuel tank for it which you know thankfully the tank is only about 200 bucks and all of the uh, gear to go with it is another couple of hundred bucks or so. And, and then it's all, all of a sudden it's another $200 to ship the damn thing. So by the time you get it all, it's a thousand bucks, which is what it costs for a fuel tank these days. Anyway, the, uh, <laughs> that's how it is. But it'll have a new fuel tank and the old one is uh, not great. Anyway, here I go, I'll, like as you know, this thing here, the floor is in there and it's actually looking pretty good. The floor is in over there. And there's that hole right there that, on the passenger side. So, but it's getting there where uh, I'm seeing a light at the end of the tunnel or I'm seeing lots of tunnels with lights in them. It needs some work up here at the front. I don't know, there's enough light, yeah. There's a hole through there, a hole through there. And I'll fix them. I imagine there's some other issues along here. I'll take it apart and see. And there's a hole. You can, like right through here, you can poke a screwdriver through all that somewhere. I've done that just to see. So the one, one windshield has to come out. And that'll happen one day. And I should take these mirrors off and clean up all that hardware around it. So, well, we'll get there. Lots of stuff to do. And the roof needs to be cleaned up. So that, it's all fiberglass. So I just have to take it off and sort of give it a good sanding and then give it some paint. See what happens there. Anyway, but that's later, later, later. For today, back at the task at hand, which is these holes underneath the uh, driver's seat there. I'll put new new pieces in there. Yeah, so I did a bunch more cutting up in there. Yeah, can you see this piece? It's got a, this is where the emergency brake cable comes through. So it's got to look like that when it comes back out. It sits right around there. So now, how to build that up and make this thing right. So I'll make this piece first, then I'll build a piece for the wall and we'll get it welded, get welded together on the bench here before I try and install it. Yeah, now here's something like, there's the piece there, and there's like the inner hole, which is that bit in the middle, that'll be, has to be cut out. Then there's a lip around it, like that's flat there. And then this part here that goes up next is that lip there, and then it flattens out again. So. Will that thing do it? Maybe. I'll just give it a try and see what happens. 
Yeah, there now, this thing here is sort of like it's supposed to be. And I just freehanded that in with the uh, with the plasma cutter. Not a very steady hand, eh? But I have a die grinder that'll maybe solve that problem. I'll see what happens. Yeah, I better get you caught up here now. So here, oh, let me get it out of here. So here's this piece, right? And pretty close to what it was before. I wonder where that piece is. Where is here? This goes in like here. Oops, excuse me for a second. That's kind of where it sits and fits in there. Won't be exact, but it's not too bad. And there's a rubber, this is a rubber housing in there that holds in there. So that center part is about the right size. So the rubber housing should be okay. The rubber, whatever they call that. This is where the hole goes for the drill it. And then I've cut down that edge to the right size. And we'll see what happens here. I'll bring it in just to a little test fit here and see if it's anywhere near to where it's supposed to be. Oh. Right in about here, eh? So it's pretty close to where it's supposed to be. I think I have to. Hmm. Bend here has got to get moved over just a just a bit. So I'll straighten it out and move it over. There, that's about ready to weld into there now. I'll just tack it down here at this end where my thumb is. And I'll tack it at about there somewhere. Whoop, whoop, I guess I've got to go down underneath the car and get it. And then I'll uh, get it welded in and I'll sort of cut butt it. See that line right here? It'll cut and butt along there. And then this line here is already existing. So. I'm trying to make it so I don't have to make this hoopy thing into it. Anyway, we'll figure it out. There now, I took the, where am I? Took the grinder, cut along that line right there, kind of at a, like at a 45 degree angle if I can. And that makes it so this sort of slides in and has a fairly decent gap. Now, what I'll do is I'll weld it here where my finger is. Do you see that? Yeah where my finger is, and I'll get that rope out of the way, right? Get the, weld it here where the finger is. Then I'll weld it, I'll push it in and weld it down here somewhere. And then this stuff here, we're gonna take some pounding to straighten it into it. But that'll work out all right in a, in a bit. I'll show you when I get it all in there. So that's all fitzy fabrication tricks for uh, tips for doing fitting pieces in. And they work, works pretty good for a lot of the time. Well, uh, then I haven't done anything on this side yet. I'm not going to, I'll get this side in, then I'll cut and butt. Where am I pointing? This edge here, right? Okay. I'll show you as I get along here. Yeah, there you go. That's in there. Isn't that something? And it looks like it's, you know, it looks okay. Looks right. Right enough for me, I think. The, uh, like it's going to be all, here's this, that thing there goes all over it, so, and then a carpet goes on top of that, so there's not going to be an awful lot of close inspection on it, and it actually looks pretty good anyhow. So, now the next piece is this one up here, but at first I got to get, I have to get in behind there and get some of that, um, off the back of it because see it's just burning every time I start it. Every time I put a weld to it, it burns. So I'll heat it up on this side, and then I'll lift the car up and see if I lift the whole thing up, see if I can get underneath there with a scraper of some sort and get rid of that some of that stuff. Yeah, so I went underneath and I, I heated this up with a blowtorch, and then I went underneath with a scraper and scraped off all that uh, rubberized stuff, or as much as I could. Now the next piece I'll put in is this piece here. I'll see if I can get that fabricated. 
Yeah, yeah, so there we are. That's enough for today. These two pieces, that's... I'm actually quite happy with that piece there. That, that worked out all right. This, the hole here is a little bit off. That hole is okay, it's on. Now, I have to finish up welding the wall in here. And then this piece here's got to go in. Then I gotta fix up this back here and that there. And while I'm in here, I'll do the plug welds that I've been talking about forever in there. Anyway, that's enough for today. I'll uh, come back and get at it again tomorrow. Yeah. So there's one. There's two buttons on the camera, and one's supposed to flip it around, but it didn't. Wouldn't flip around. Anyhow, here I am. What's going on here? Yeah, I got my shield on there. Anyway, so here I am at the uh, back at it for another day, and uh, I'll show you here now if I can turn this around. Yeah, there, turned around that time. So here's what I've been up to. This piece here, this is where the emergency brake sits in here, and I cut that out and made that little bit of a dippy whoopy thing in there. Now I have to make this piece in here, and while I was at it, I fixed the pinholes around the front there, if you remember from a long time ago. There were pinholes. And now I have to do this one, and then this one, and then that one right over here. So, I'll carry on. There you go, that side is all put together, right? Now I'm going to put together this side over here, and I cut out a piece. Like, there it is there, right? But you see that little bit of a notch? I'll show you. Oh, got to climb in here. So this one here has that piece comes down and flanges, and then there's that seam along there, right? So okay, am I pointing the right way? Yeah, that seam. There's a seam along there. So I want to just make one. Like I'm just going to cut one piece into here, and and. Uh, you know, instead of putting two pieces in. And then I'll make that a fake flange on there, a fake thing. And I'll show you that, how I did that. Out here. Oh, here. I'll... There we go. So here, now, there it is there. It's done, right? So all I did was I marked where I want to put it. Then you stick this. Here I am. Not pointing the right way, right? Hang on. So you stick your piece of metal into the vise. Then where's my cold chisel? You take the cold chisel and just put it up against it like that and pound it with the hammer until you get the amount of bend that you want in it so that it looks right. And then it comes out with your with your fake little uh, body seam in there. Anyhow, that's a Fitzy trick. So if you want to get more of those tricks, go watch Fitzy. He's pretty good at it. Yeah, so there, that's that piece in. I guess there's a hole here i got to weld up still. But you see there's that, I don't know if you can tell, that fake body line is there. Nice and nothing, to, nothing like having a fake body line. A little bit there to check into. Hmm. I'll check that. Yeah, so this one here is a for rust converter. I'll fix that. Same as up here. And then I fixed up that little hole there. So that'll be all right. That's all that part done now. Yep. Go this part here. I think first off I'll put this piece in here. Which I have to make and that's got a hoop to do and it goes about to here somewhere. I'll have to find the old one that I cut out and see. Yeah, so there's the the hole in there, right? And here's kind of a pattern that I've cut out. And so this part here, oops, there, this bit here is where the hoopy thing goes in, right there. And then there's a flange that goes across here. We'll see if I can make that sort of fit. Yeah, so I've run the bead roller across this and make that hoopy thing in there. Now to get this end piece here sorted out, I'll just put it in the uh, vise and use the uh, cold chisel on I'll show you. 
Yeah, there now. I've got that pointed kind of in the right way. As long as you don't put my shoulder into it too badly. So there's the line down at the bottom of the right at the vise there where I want to make it make this same sort of hoop, eh? So this the cold chisel just stretches it out. See what it looks like now. Careful not to go right through. So, there, can you see that? Is that pointing the right way? See? Yeah, so how's that look? Not too bad. Not too bad. And then I checked it on the inside on the car, and that actually uh, that hoop fits. Isn't that something? Quarter inch hoop. So, that's it for today, and I'm on to. Where am I? It for today. What have I got here? I gotta zoom out. Maybe I'll do this. Yeah, there. Yeah, there we are. It for today. So we'll see you tomorrow, and maybe I'll have a chance at finishing up that driver's seat business, which seems to be another like another three days. What day is it? Wednesday already, right? So tomorrow is Thursday and then Friday and uh, all this stuff we've done this week is not, not too exciting. But anyway, it's quitting time today so I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye for now. Yeah, it doesn't look like it now but as much as I hate to think of it, it is December. I have to get the blower on the thing here. So it seems to be going. It makes a rattling and bang. Let's see how it works out. Greased it all up and boiled uh, up the chains and stuff like that. And see if we make another year out of it. These things seem to last for a long time. Yeah. Anyway, we're ready for another, another winter's action with this thing. Yeah, here I am back at the task at hand, right? So this piece here will fit in not too bad. And I'll cut it out to that line there and that line there see if that'll make it fit right and then I need to put a flange from this line going downward and this and then this thing here goes downward and then upward here so I gotta cut that line right there anyhow I'll get that done yeah so it takes about an hour of grinding and trimming and fitting to get this thing to fit in right but there it is that's fitting pretty nice now the uh, all of the hoops are there that hoopy thing looks pretty good on the back there so it'll fit in and then I'll I'll get it welded in and that'll be good yeah so there that's welded in I'll make it I haven't grinded it yet but I'll make a piece over here because my knees are all tired of kneeling down. So I'll make this piece to fit here, or try to. Yeah, so here's the other side. This is a battery, the uh, passenger side. So you see this hoopy thing in here. It's a strength, a little bit of a strength piece. So I've got to put it, same thing on for that side. And I left the start of it where it starts. So here it is on the metal. And it's kind of deeper at the bottom than it is at the top. So I'm just about done for today. A short day today. I gotta go gotta go to dinner tonight. Which is nice. Anyhow, I'm gonna leave that one there until tomorrow. Let's see what happens here now. There you go. Yeah, here I am. So another day goes by in uh Volkswagen was failure. What day is it today? Wednesday? Yeah, Wednesday. Maybe it's Thursday. Thursday today. Yeah. So December 1st, 2022. Maybe uh, one of these days we'll get some work, get something done on this car. It's getting there. Anyhow, that's all for today. See you tomorrow. Yeah, so here I am back at it. I wonder what happened to that piece of metal I cut. Anyway, you can hear that banging away up there. So I just knocked the tops off the welds in here 
and that'll be and then I'll cover it with a little bit of that uh, seam filler stuff now I have a piece that I cut here it is this piece here I made this yesterday and I showed you then I think so it'll go in here like that and I have to cut this see that line there I'll cut that off about there then I'll figure out how the bottom fits in and see if I can get it fitted in there so that's where I'm going at now yeah now after all that it fits in there pretty near right. there's a little bit more gap there than I should have had but I'll fill that but it fits in pretty good I'll lift it up a tiny bit so that it's got even gaps up and below above and below and then this bit here just sits right in next to it so I can plug weld it on there hmm isn't that something well that'll be that piece get welded in next there you go that's getting started to weld in there and it's gonna look all right when it's done but I gotta get off my knees for a little bit here and give them a rest yeah there that piece is finally welded in there so that's all fixed up a little bit ugly over there but it'll be covered up with carpet and uh, cabinet and everything like that and this part in here is solid so I'm happy with that and I finally got around to welding up those plug welds in that edge there which have been pending for quite a long time now this little corner here see if I can keep a light on it so I think what I'll do is I'll just put a, a piece in here with a flange on each side to catch that and then I'll first I'll spray it in there with rust converter I'll give it a good coat of rust converter and then maybe tomorrow I'll come and put a put some paint in there and then I'll put a piece down here with a flange on each side and that'll solve that I hope yeah there I'm gonna call all that done for now except for that one piece over there where I was talking about a minute ago and that has to wait till tomorrow or the next day or or a while because I'm tired of being in there I think I'm okay with the way it is for now I've got two little holes or three little holes at the back here underneath those cardboards and that to fix up inside and I'll just put them aside for a while because I'll do something different for a bit so I think it's time to take out the windshield if I can and then after that I can take the dashboard out but first got to get these windshield wipers off there's a nut there a nut on there now I hit that a long time ago with some uh, oil penetrating oil so I think it'll come off and the same with this side here so let's see if I can get them off of there there we are no windshield and good news is I didn't even break it there's a couple of stone chips one there and a couple others that I saw that I'll have to get repaired before and when I get the windshield put in because I'll get the uh, there's guys from uh, Island Glass they'll come out to your house and do this kind of stuff and they do it an awful lot better than I would do it but mostly it looks not bad the only place I can find rust is right here so I can fix that up pretty quick and easy but I'll take the dashboard out and uh, then I'll be able to take that door card off and then it like I can paint the inside of it then which is one of the goals here is just to paint the inside one color same color as I want to paint the outside which I think is the same color as I have the uh, BMW painted which I kind of like that color it's a nice light brown light goldy brown you know nice color anyway so take that windshield you can see you can't really see it but it's sitting on the chair it's glass and I'll see if I can get it up to the long-term storage without wrecking it yeah now windshield is over in the other shop out of the way of danger for now now I guess I can go and this must be the VIN number there yep there's the VIN number on it can you see that can't barely make it out but it's there 
Anyway, so now, see if I can get the dashboard to come out of it somehow or other. Plus, <laughs> don't need that there, nor do I need the handle on there for now. Well, now, see what goes, see what happens. Yeah, now I read, or I saw somewhere, anyhow, these big screws like that, see those big screws there? They don't have to come out to get the dash out. They're holding something else together. Another big screw there, big screw there. There's one, two, three, four, five, five little screws. Now, Sarah, they're like those kind there. Now Sarah and Martin, they were over here last week and they brought me this thing here, which is populated with some stuff in it, but mostly it's, you know, Lots of it is garbage and lots of it is emptyable. Well, I'm pointing the wrong way. So, I can use this for putting parts in. So, VW dash. And then it goes in there and I'll know where to go look for those parts. Hey, yay. That actually a useful item. Thank you very much. Anyhow, I'll carry on. And somehow, in here now, this thing here pops off because underneath is stuff don't know quite how it pops off but it does and here's some fuses and stuff so don't know what they're for and another one there i'll put them in that same bucket because that's all dash stuff fuses right now it's a matter of finding the bucket there it is now it looks like there's a couple of screws here and I think there's two screws on the other side, and then you got to get this stuff here off. I guess that's ready to come off already. Anyway, I'll I'll work along at it and uh, show you what I need and what I know when I know it. Hmm. Yeah. So that <laughs> there you go. That's the cover for this. You reach on the inside and you have to pull back on it or pull that way on it and it's just got a couple of little things here that I'll show you. It kind of surprised me when it came loose. So it's it's just held on the front with these things here which hold it underneath it. But on the back, can you see this? Where is it? Get some light here. Show it the light. These little metal tabs they just spring into place and hold it in and so you when it's in the car it's like this in the car and you reach whoops you reach behind into that hole there and with both hands into those holes and then you just pull it forward pull it towards you pull it pull it towards you and then it comes springing out of there enough to send you to another world but and then underneath it is this uh, plastic thing here, which is just a dust cover that covers up everything except for the... I imagine it's there to when you put in brake fluid, so if you spill brake fluid, it's not going to... Because that's where the brake fluid is, right there. So when you spill brake fluid, it's not going to get into all that. There's one, two, three, four screws holding that. And I imagine I can just pull these plugs out of here. I'll see what I can do without breaking it. See what happens. Yeah, so I pulled on this one and it came apart, I think, differently than what it's supposed to. So, best to loosen these screws off. I'll loosen those screws off and then that'll give it some uh, free play so I can get those wires out of there. I'll give it a try and see what happens. Yeah, yeah, so here's the dashboard comes out. So it's easiest to release these things, like the bottom one comes out easier than the top one, which is a switch, to release them than, than it is to, because uh, then they're, these wires are supposed to push down through here somehow or other. I don't know, well, maybe like that, yeah, and, and like that, make it out of the way. Then the brake master cylinder is here. I think that needs rebuild or renew. 
rebuild would likely do. And these guys here, so I can, I pulled them out of the dashboard, but I think what I'll do is I'll just unhook the wires and put them back in the dashboard in there so I know where they go. Right? Okay. Yeah, so that's the uh, emergency, like, switch for the, uh, whatever you call that, emergency flashers. But interconnected of everything. So this wire here, wait, get that out of the way. See this? It's like that. And this thing here, which is like a special plug, right? It'll only fit one way on there. And it picks up all of these except for that one and that one. And this blue wire, is it a blue? Yeah, blue wire goes to that one. And the brown wire, which is right here, will go to that one. I imagine the brown is a ground. Then everything else is looked after. This part here, this is for whatever the switch is there. I don't know what that switch does, but it'll only fit on the back of that switch right there, which would be rear window defroster, maybe. Anyhow, that goes right back in. Something missing here. Well, I'll just see. Yeah, nothing missing. That bottom one here is empty. You can put another switch in there of some sort. Don't know what. This is the clock. I don't know if it works or not. Maybe it does. That light, there's little lights like that. That one's missing. I'll find a couple of them somewhere. Otherwise, it looks like it's all okay. Speedometer, all the little lights for oil pressure and everything like that. And I'll put it back with the other stuff back here. Yeah, so there. And it's, that's, uh, hmm, coming along all right. I got the, <laughs> some of the dashboard out. So I'm going to leave it like that for today. It's Friday, so you will want to see a movie. And did all right this week. Finished up, I think I finished up the floors last week. And then I thought I'd get to this right away, but but didn't because all of a sudden I found more holes, more holes, more holes, more holes. And so I spent the whole week fixing holes in the uh, in and around the driver's seat and in uh, and around the uh, passenger seat. There was only one, and then the hardest one was down here. Can you see down there? I think so down where the uh, emergency brake cable goes in through the ground there, through the floor. So, finished up that, and then I decided I'd start working on getting the windshield out and stuff like that. So, hope you enjoyed it all. May, maybe uh, hit the like and then the subscribe button, and I'll see you all next week. Bye for now. Yeah, where is it? It's uh, what, Monday or Tuesday? Tuesday just about the end of November. I think it's uh, November 29th or something like that. Winter isn't here yet, but it's getting cooler. And here I am with my pal. He is relegated to a leash these days because he doesn't follow me around like a puppy dog anymore. He decides that he wants to be his own leader. So he'll be on a leash for the next, well, a couple of months likely. Until he's big enough to get trained with the electronic collars <coughs> and electric electric collars are they mostly just beep at them and they don't uh now oh, where is he where is he where's that dog there he is right down there okay buster let's go come on off to the beach anyway electronic collars they don't uh, i don't put the shocker on them i just put the noise on them and these, these dogs are pretty sensitive to the noise, or have been in the past. We'll just see how this one makes out when it gets there. So, see you at the beach. What now? He had a yelp and decided to stop. Come on, here. Here, Buster. Yeah. Yeah, that's getting... <laughs> doesn't take much to get him rolling. Oh, okay. Yeah, now that I'm handy, the beach, he's all about getting there. So, here I am. Getting close to the beach. And it's a sunny day today. 
which is nice. The tide's way out there. Lots of, lots of, uh, lots of sandbars showing. And the bench is still here, but pretty close to the edge where the tide came to the other day. So I'll sit on it and see how it is. There we are. And Buster, he decides that he likes to get up here too. Come on, up here. Come here. Oh, get him. Oh. Buster. Oh, well. Too busy. Too busy on other stuff. Too busy on other stuff to look at the camera. Anyway. Here we are, another nice day at the beach. A little bit cool, but I guess you can expect that in November, can't you? <laughs> 